Some of you might find this question tricky, but regardless of whether you can figure out the solution on your own, you will be excited to learn the answer to this real-life assessment test question. Select the formula to help store owner calculate the total quantity of all different products sold between 2017 and 2020. You're presented with the snippet of data from Excel, which shows sales for 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020 in correspondent columns B through E. And you have four different choices to choose from. Choice A, calculate formula with populated parameters. Choice B, some formula. Choice C, another version of some formula. And choice D, some total formula. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge together. To solve this challenge, we need to calculate the total number of items sold in the range of B3 through E11. To do that, we need to put the cursor where the final total will be calculated. And the easiest way to do it will be to use AutoSum function on the home ribbon in Excel. We select the sum formula and then select the range for which we're trying to add the sum formula. Once you hit enter, you will see the total number of items that have been sold between 2017 and 2020. Let's recap. The correct choice here is answer C. We use sum formula and we select the range from B3 to E11. Sum function adds all the numbers in the range of cells to help calculate total quantity. Now let's look at why other choices are incorrect. For example, choice A has a calculate function which doesn't exist in Microsoft Excel. Choice B includes the row for the years and returns inaccurate results. Because if you look closely, choice B's range starts with B2, which would include 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, which would exaggerate the numbers. And choice D uses sum total function, which also doesn't exist in Excel. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. Here's the question for you to try to solve on your own. I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge. Which formula should be used to highlight the cells in total sale column that have value less than the value in cell B2? And you have four different choices. Please pause this video if you need to. Look at the data on the left to see if you come up with the right answer. And if you have figured out the answer, please make sure to post it in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. I'm also planning to post a detailed answer in my future videos, so make sure to subscribe and review my latest videos on the topic to learn about the answer and how to come up with the answers to similar questions on the test. Thanks for participating and good luck. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment tests faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have a community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.